Hi, it's your boy K2 Smooth. I want to say thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. Or if you're just a newbie and you've just come across the channel, thank you so much for checking this out. Um, I have so much content here that is really good, but if you love the stuff that we're doing here, you're really going to love the stuff that I have on carry2smooth.com because that's the stuff that's going to really open it up even more. We have some free courses and we've got some paid courses. Stuff that's going to get you sweet on the electric guitar, stuff that's going to get you really sweet on the acoustic guitar, and that's a desire of your heart. So I want you to really check those things out. We're going to have some links in the description. All right, so let's get into today's lesson. So today's lesson, I'm going to do some really, I'm going to talk to you. I'm not going to play. I'm going to talk to you about some things that you want to think about as a beginning r and guitarist. A couple topics that I feel like are, are really important for you to really, really to know when you want to unlock your potential as an r and guitar player. The first thing that I want you to really think about is knowing the notes on the neck of the guitar. That's going to really help unlock your potential. And I don't mean all the notes on all the string, but I'm really talking about the first two strings, the thickest strings. Understanding what the notes are all the way up to the double dots. If you look at your fretboard, there's, there's double dots. After the double dots, it's going to repeat itself. This is extremely important because, again, it's going to allow you to know where to go in your neck of the guitar. So if I'm like, give me an E, go to E, you know specifically where to go. If I'm saying like, go to G, you know specifically where to go on the top two strings because that's generally where we start to form our chords. That's where we know where to form our chords. And that brings me to my next point. It's important for you to learn the chord shapes, understanding the major shapes and the minor shapes. Those are how you're going to build your progressions. That, as a beginner guitar player, is invaluable. That stuff alone is going to help set the foundation for you when you begin to start playing. Understanding the chord shapes and knowing where the notes are so that way you're not limited. You're not trying to figure out, well, I heard it. I don't know exactly where to go. So if I just tell you specifically where to go, you know where to put your hands. That's just extremely important because you don't want to overlook knowing the notes in the neck of the guitar and understanding the chord shapes. If I say give me a major chord, you know where to go. If I say give me a minor chord, the progression is going to be two minors and a major. You know what those shapes look like so the way it's familiar to your hands and you're not guessing. You're, you're confident. You're sure. Uh, the next thing I want you to think about is working on your ears. It's important because without your ears, you'll be blind. So you want to work on your ear training, listening to different progressions, trying to determine what key it's in. Again, that goes back to knowing the notes and understanding what you, what you hear in the progression with different kind of notes. So that way you can know how to form your chords, which go back to, to you forming your chords. So you see how it all works together, how it all ties together. You got to know the notes on the fretboard. You got to know the chord shapes and you got to work on your ears so that way you can work and understand specifically how to put it all together to know what kind of chord shapes are in the progression. Um, fourthly, one thing I want to talk about is soloing. As a new guitar player, we're always trying to figure out like how to solo, what to do. So I'm going to give you a couple cheat codes that I like to do. I like to go and dig in the minor pentatonic. That's just something that you want to. We'll talk about as far as the fifth thing is learning your scales. Um, those would be my top five things that I want you to talk about today. Is understanding that the minor pentatonic is going to give you, which is a scale that we're talking about, it's going to give you a myriad of note options. But one thing, another thing that I want you to think about, like if you don't have any other options, just go into the minor pentatonic. But when it comes to soloing, remember that this is a melodic instrument, so you want to learn how to play the melody. If you can play the melody, you're going to be really great. So just find yourself like doodling when you're listening to different records, learning how to pick out the melody and play along with the melody. That's going to be great for when you start soloing. And lastly, I want to talk to you about is learning the scales. It's important for you to learn the major scale because, again, that's essentially going to be the, the overall foundation of how it's all going to work. So when you're in a band situation or you're working with somebody else and they're calling out the numbers, you know what they're talking about. You don't. It's not foreign to you. It's not like something that is so far fetched. You're like they're calling out six, seven. Like they're calling out four, three. I don't know what they're talking about. They're basing everything off of the major scale. So understanding the Nashville number system, learning the scale. There are essentially eight notes in the scale. The eighth note and the first note are identical. They're just octaves of each other. So knowing that you know your one is always going to be your root. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Knowing those different notes and then knowing that. I'm giving you a lot of information, but these are some things to think about. Your one is always going to be a major chord. Your two and three are going to be minor. Your four and five are going to be major. Your six is going to be minor. And your seven is going to be a minor chord. So just knowing that that already takes a lot of the guesswork out of So if they say give me a two, three, four, you know that two of the chords are going to be minor. One of the chords is going to be major. Those are just some things as a new guitarist that you can begin to just digest and chew on. So let's, do, let's recap. Knowing the notes on the fretboard and I'm not telling you to know all the notes that's something that you'll build up to but at least at a very minimum at the very base minimum knowing the two notes on the first 
strings, like the thickest strings, the E string and the A string, the, the thickest, the fattest strings. Those are the notes that you want to learn. Um, you want to learn all the way from the first fret up to the double dots. After the double dots, everything starts to repeat itself. So if there was an F right here at the double dots, that'd be an F again and just re repeat itself. That's just how it's set up. So it's important to know those notes. Two, we want to talk about learning the chord shapes um, because it's, it's important to know if you're playing a major chord or a minor chord, okay? You want to work on our ears. That's important. We also want to work on soloing techniques, learning how to dig, to dive in and dig in into the, the minor pentatonic, and that's a scale that you want to learn. Or also, too, I, I, so much emphasis is put on going to the minor pentatonic. I also want you to think about being melodic, learning like melodic lines. Like when you're here, you're playing a record, you hear like the melody, mimicking that on the guitar. Like that is important when it comes to soloing because again, you're going to play something that's familiar to the audience. They're going to know exactly where you are, what you're doing. They're going to be able to vibe with you a whole lot more. And then too, like learning the scales, learning the major scales so that way you can understand the number system, the natural number system. Remember, it's eight notes that are essentially in the scale. One and eight are the same, so we really don't talk about going to the eight, we always talk about going to the seven. We stop at the seven. So understanding what those chords are, what those notes are, that the one is always going to be a major chord, okay? The two and three are gonna be minor chords, the four and five are gonna be major, the six is gonna be minor, and the seven is gonna be minor. So understanding those concepts and those different like aspects of guitar, take it piece by piece, dissect it. Don't just feel like you gotta submerge yourself in it and try to learn it all at one time. Take the time to really dissect it because those are the things that are gonna set you up for success in the long run so that way you know how to play wherever you are. It doesn't matter the situation, it doesn't matter if there's a language barrier, if they can tell you the numbers, and you know the scales, you're gonna be really comfortable. I had this one situation when I was in France and I was in Paris and the band, we didn't, I don't speak French, but they knew how to call out the numbers. They were telling me the numbers and they knew what key, once I determined what key we were in, we were good to go. So it's extremely important in like really learning that because again, that's gonna set the precipice of you being successful for the long run.